Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We are kicking our day off here in uh, just outside Nashville, Tennessee. We're in a town called Hermitage. Rolled in here yesterday. We are out here for about a four or five day period. It is a cold, wet, rainy day. Uh, storm just rolled through. Stopped about like six o'clock this morning. We've got Nancy inside. She's getting ready. We're here with Bobby. This trip is going to be totally a different type of trip. Usually we come to Nashville, we hang out, we party, we have a good time down on Broadway. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. Tried a little something. Oh, you did? Yeah. Hi. Woo! All right, so now we're about to get food. This is Bobby. Hi. We got Nancy. Uh, we're going to the Goat Mount Juliet. We're gonna do some uh, some touring around this little area. Uh, but first, we need food, we need a drink. Like, you guys know me, I can't think without food in my system. So, yep. we're about to take care of that right now. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> cute face, cute face, cute face. <laughs> Do you want to really know how I'm feeling? Yeah. I'm fucking terrified. Terrified. So, uh, one thing that we haven't gotten into, you guys have heard us on uh, the vlogs and stuff previously, and we've been talking about leaving California. The, actually, one of the last entries that we just posted, we talked about it. While we're out here, we're out here hanging out with Bobby. We've got a concert to go to. We've got things to do. Valentine's Day is coming up, and that's going to be fun. But we're also going around checking out so potential areas uh, to move. Nashville, I guess we're just dropping it on the vlog right now. Yeah, hi vlog. Nashville has been kind of like an area that's uh, <clears throat> called to us. It's an area that I've always wanted to be between Tennessee and North Carolina. I thought I wanted to live here until I was here and I'm like, oh my God, I want to live here because you'll be back to me. <laughs> no, you'll true. be fine. But it is crazy uh, to to up and move and leave absolutely everything. You know, we were talking about it last night. Everything from the restaurants you know to the the chain places you go to. My friends, I'm a raver. There's no raves out here. <laughs> so it definitely is. It's a different. It, I mean, it'd be different. Yeah. But which is kind of what we were looking for it as well. It has to be an overdrive right now. Yeah. I mean. I'm in like freak out mode thinking? currently. I'm freaking Don't out. Don't be in freak out mode. I moved out knowing nobody. Yeah, that's and true. I love it. Yeah. And you can do it. And, and at least I know Bob. Super easy. Yeah. Which is what I was trying to say was like, back home in California, no one looks up. No one wants to talk to you. No one wants to, to do anything. Yeah, but I have my friends that I've had for the last 12 years of my life. And the it's people true. that I go to festivals with. And there's not going to be that kind of stuff out here. It's just it's different. True. It's, it's just, very, very different. But right now we've got a... Uh, Have you guys moved anywhere out of your comfort zone? Let before? us know in the comments below. Let us know, because we kinda, I'm freaking I, out. I, I mean, I'm not freaking out, but it, it definitely is, it's nerve wracking. I know, but this is where you want to I think more people too. actually move out of their comfort zone eventually, but it takes time and it takes confidence and you yeah. just gotta do it because... I think it's mostly like just, I think it's mostly my music scene that I'm terrified of leaving. Like, yes, there's a huge music scene here, but it's totally different than what I'm used to. Like, going to raves and wearing my platforms and dressing up to that aspect and yeah. being in Los here. Angeles. That they don't, really. No. I looked Some. it up, there were like five shows for like DJs, and I'm like, meh, there's no trans here. What's it? no trans? <laughs> there is a train. No, trance. <laughs> trance. <laughs> oh. Train. <laughs> yeah, shit about a train. <laughs> trance. Yeah, so I, it's. I mean, it's it's it is. Completely... I'm intrigued to keep looking. I I am on the fence. But which is why why we're here. It was something that uh, that we've been discussing for. I mean, a solid year plus now. Yeah. Like we've been talking about it for. I mean, it was all fun and while. games until we're here really looking, and now I'm like, oh my fucking. Now it changes things. Yeah, yeah, it really does. But we want to look at properties and houses and see kind of like get a feel of what 
areas are like to be able to. So you're coming along because we're going to drive by some houses we have saved. Yeah, yeah, we sure are. So here we go. And it's gonna be beautiful. I want a cow, so. Definitely can't do that in California. Maybe even a baby emu. You know? A baby emu? Yeah, I saw it once on Facebook. <laughs> It's already got a uh, fencing around it and shit. It goes all the way around. I guess it's not as close to everything as you would think. It's a lot of space. Like you still got neighbors and stuff, but like you still have this, this giant ass yeah. backyard. All right, so here's one of the houses that we were originally looking at. I think it sits on acre and a half property. Woo, cold and windy, yeah. Yeah, it is. Got nice little steps. Already has a swing what on it. What do you do with such a big front yard? Hang out in it. By Mow ourselves because we have no friends. Not yet. Not out here yet. I mean, it is. It is a cool house. It's very, very cute. I wasn't gonna peek inside, and Bobby was like, "I'm gonna do it." And so she started doing it, and then Sean went and joined. And <laughs> I was like, the one room is all dark. I the room is all dark. In the other room, there's a baby playing on a couch. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, there's somebody home run! People oh, still live here! Sorry! <laughs> Oops. Here. Okay, so that's a five bedroom house. Yeah, I was gonna say it looked over four. It's yeah, too so big for us. We that, don't need something. That like was it. ginormous, but like we're just talking getting ideas. Oh, yeah. Ideas at the moment. The front of it was cute. If I could have the front, the way that it looks is very big. We all solid said no to this area. <laughs> so big no, sweet. Uh, de definitely wasn't what it was calling to us, not at all. But I feel like I'm in a mobile home park. Yeah. All right. You know, there's another spot, another five minutes away. We all got, right then. We got nothing but options here. Nothing but options. So we got to take Bobby to work. Goodbye to our not future home. <laughs> So now this house, it's a three bedroom, two bath. It's been listed online for a few weeks now. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So who knows how far like your side property rolls out. And yes, your front yard's on like a little hill, but look at these trees that I bet get a lot of color. So pretty. They probably get a lot of color during uh and then I'm thinking it goes all the way down there to a line line down that way. A little two car garage. How far does it go around? You can see pretty much where the where it line is. Okay. It's just on a hill, I know how I feel about that. Yeah, hill's hill's a little different. I can't put a pool on a hill. Yeah, you can. I like the bridge. I like all the trees. The trees are amazing. Yeah. I love all the trees. This would probably be all lined and beautiful during Yeah. Summer and winter, or summer and all the other, all the other times that aren't winter. Yeah, it's true. You know, two good ones, one not so good one. I mean, we're doing all right.
Sean because I'm gonna really. I, I mean, I have lost twice, so I. What are we? Guess Team what? We're playing double-handed four-puck air hockey. Team Sweets. Team Sparkles. Team Sweets. There we go. Oh! Oh, I don't know how to play with. I don't either. Oh. I don't like you need two pucks! I don't like you need two! Where's the other puck? Where's the other puck? You gotta get your puck out! Fifteen. Holy shit! Ten seconds. Ten. Whatever. Because they both went in at the same time. I agree as a referee, but you still won. That was only five minutes. Who won? You did. I know. You beat me twice, and Bob, you beat me once. I'm just not good at air hockey. All right, so don't ever bet on air hockey. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm just really, really bad. Uh, Yasu, Gers, you guys may see me on some of my vlogs, and I think the record Steve channel. Uh, Yasu Brewing Company. Right, right there. Nashville, Tennessee. This is their Gerst Amber Ale. It's really good. Had this the last time I was out here, and it was still on par.